Hello, everyone, and welcome to a surprise episode of Christine's Coloring. Um, I'm doing this today because I wanted to wave a napkin around with my hands and get attacked by my cat. Anyway, <laughs> none of that was uh, true. Uh, what I wanted to do today was um, I got some happy mail, and I'm pretty sure I know who sent me the happy mail. Uh, because she kind of warned me, but she said it wasn't supposed to be here till Thursday. Well, today's Tuesday. So I'm hoping this is from her. If not, I'm hoping whoever sent it um, at least included uh, their name. So let's get to open it and see what we got. And this will be my first package. And it is indeed a gift from Haley at Coloring with Haley. I'll leave a link to her site below. Oh, it's 50 ocean miniatures. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm, I'm getting my collection pulled up here. Oh, they left some sticky on it, but I don't care. Oh, that's so awesome. Oh, thank you, Haley. Let's go through it real quick here. Let's see what we got. I love these books. You know, and of course it's from uh, Camelia Angelkova, whose name I'm probably misspeaking, uh, but I hope not because she makes such wonderful and adorable little books. Look at these pictures. Oh, this is going to be so much fun to color. The little pearls. Oh, oh my goodness. Look at this mommy goldfish. Oh my goodness. Or she doesn't even have to be a goldfish. She's just a mommy fish. I might call her her gold, though. Oh, my goodness. This is so cute. These are just adorable. Oh, look at the mouse and the kitty and the bunny mermaids. Oh, I can't wait to do that one. Oh, my goodness. I just love and adore these books. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> these are going to be so much fun. And a lot of these I'm going to want to color again and again, so naturally I'll leave them in the book, but I'll make a photocopy of them either onto my Nina paper or my Spring Hill paper. Oh my gosh, look at the little fishy playing peekaboo. Peekaboo! <laughs> oh my goodness, look at the little jellyfish. Getting the note out of the bottle and reading with her little heart glasses. So she must have gotten a love letter from far, far away. Oh my goodness, hula doggies. That one I'm going to want to color over and over again. Yes, I am. Oh, this is precious. Look at the little snails and the little fishies. Oh, the little mice down under the water with the fishies. Oh, Mama Pearl with her baby pearls. This one I'm going to want to do in markers so I can really make her shine. Because you know my oh, hoo hoo glitter markers. Oh my goodness. These are so cute. Oh, look at that. That's adorable. <laughs> oh, and another little bunny mermaid. Just too cute. Oh, and the little otters. Oh, I love otters. Oh, I'm so excited. These are so cute. Look at the little seahorse with the seahorse babies. Oh, goodness, goodness, goodness. These are all so adorable. <laughs> the dolphin is watering her plants in the water. <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> oh my goodness, look at the little parrot with the mices. I'm so excited, guys. Oh, look, they got a couple little plants and a butterfly in a jar. Oh, pretty. Oh, those turtles are precious. Look at the little hearts on this one's shell. Oh, precious. Oh, I think this is like the fifth book I've gotten of 50 ocean minute or 50 miniatures. And this is the ocean one. Oh, these are so cute. Oh, my goodness. Look at the little Nemo's. <laughs> oh. oh, these are just too cute, guys. Oh, just too cute. Oh, that's adorable. Guys, I'm going to have so much fun with this book. 
I gotta do some more out of the Easter ones, but I wanna do one of these. Start on one of these tonight. I'm going to have some whips going on. <laughs> and in case you're watching and don't know what a whip is, a whip is a work in progress, uh, of which I have a, a whip going on right now that's out and that is not out of any of these books. Shame on me. Um, but Pamela, Pamela's uh, passion for pencils was coloring a picture with her Holbein's on some tone tan paper. And I was like, I want to do it too. So I am. <laughs> but these are so adorable. Haley, if you're watching this, thank you so much. This is beautiful. And then, of course, at the end of the books, is, or the end of the book is a list of all her books. I have Spring. I have Romantic. I have... None of the Mandela's. I'm not a big Mandela person, but... I might get some from this this artist because they're just so cute. You know, and of course, now I have ocean miniatures. Yay! Oh, thank you, thank you. Ah, but the surprise hasn't ended. We've got one more. They always say open at the perforation, but you never can find it. There we go. I found it. Let's see what else I got here. And this is also from Haley. Oh, thank you, Haley. And it's 50 Safari miniatures. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, boy, another one. Oh, these are just the best books by Camelia Angekova. Oh, my goodness. Oh, look at the little baby giraffe. The little baby giraffe is so cute. Oh. These are just adorable. Nice little door. Aw. Little mice is going on safaris. And then little lion. All these cute little mice pictures are going to make me sad about the mice I'm having. The actual mice I'm having to catch in my bird room. <laughs> And they're picking the cruelest way possible. I have several live traps in there that they could cat go in and get caught. So I could go take them to a park or a wildlife, you know, wildlife area and let them go. That's far, far away from houses. But no, they want to go get the sticky traps. Oh, that was terrible. I'm even trying to keep my cat from catching them. And they're just not having none of it. They must have a death wish. It's terrible. Tarnals. Oh, look at those mice. See, this is making me feel bad because I love the little mice. I just don't love them while playing around my birds. If they'd stay out of the bird room, they could stay in the house. They don't bother me. You know, probably don't want to go in my mouth neither. No telling, you know, what's been there in the middle of the night. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so maybe they make a little mess, too, with their little droppings. <laughs> and that's kind of yucky. <laughs> but, oh, I would love to be able to just catch them and release them. Um, but they're being stubborn about the live traps, so I went and got some stickies and a couple of snaps that I could hide away from the cat and the birds. And so far, they've stayed away from the snap trap, but they got in a sticky trap. I did catch one in a live trap. And I let her go out at a park. Look at the little zebras. Oh, the little little monkeys with the hear no evil, see no evil, do no evil. Or speak no evil. And somebody did something naughty. Oh, oh look at that little well. It's so pretty. Oh, look at the little lions. Oh, my gosh. Oh, some ostriches. Oh, these are just too cute. Thank you so much, Haley. Oh, this really is like the happiest meal ever. Oh, I can't wait to start coloring in these. Oh, they're so cute. Little baby lion. Oh, the little huts. Those are adorable. That little village. Oh, oh, they're so cute. 
Ooh, very tribal. I could really put some colors in those. Yes. Oh my gosh, the rhino with the horn and the butterfly wings. That's so cute. Oh, look at this little turtle. <laughs> Pretty little waterfall. More little cute monkeys. Oh. What was it? Pomone and Tumba. Pumba. Timon and Puma. Timones. Little Timones. <laughs> I think that's it. Pumba, I think, was the the uh, the pig. I'm pretty sure. Oh, look at the little birdie at the door. Oh, there's another little birdie with the key. Oh, this is all so cutesy, cutesy Lion King. Thank goodness no Mufasa. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I like Mufasa. Mufasa. <laughs> oh, these are adorable. Oh, cute little couple, and she's got little flowers in her ma in her fur. Oh, these are just adorable. Makes me want to watch The Lion King again. <laughs> oh. Got a little tux on. That's adorable. I love the little hanging lights. This is going to be so pretty to color. Oh, look at that little mousey. This one's going to be cute. I'm going to have to do an extra good job on that one. And, um, of course, copy it and print it out on one of my papers. And then put it up on my wall of colored pictures. Oh, oh look. A friend for the moon. <laughs> If I'm saying the name wrong, sorry guys. It's been a long time since I've seen Lion King. <laughs> long, long time. Oh, I also have 50 uh, Jungle. Oh my goodness, this was such a great gift. Oh, these are just awesome. Thank you so much, Haley. Look at these. They're so cute. Oh, I can't wait to start coloring in them. And I've add, got additions to my collection. I love those books so much. But anyway, also, too, um, while I'm still happy and filming, uh, it's since I had said earlier that um, I seen that Pamela over at Pamela's Passions for Pencils had been playing with her whole binds and having a great time. And I'm so happy for her. It is so awesome. So somebody got her a set of whole binds and just made her day. And she was doing the tone tan paper thing. Excuse me. And I'm just so excited. I'm burping. But anyway, um, you know, I'm sitting there like, oh, I want to play with mine on, on my uh, tone tan too. So here's what I'm doing. Uh, this is a, Chris, a PDF uh, for Christine Karen, Orchid Dream Grayscale. And I got it in her Etsy shop. And I have been coloring on her. <laughs> For me on tone tan, skin is always a difficult um, adjustment to make, uh, but I'm loving the way her hair turned out, and I have been using my Holbein's and my Brute Fooner Macaroon or Macaron set, whatever you want to call them, um, to do this picture, uh, with just the exception of the eyelashes were done with my handy, trusty, da dandy Polychromos Black. And then, um, of course, I used my Jelly Roll gel pen to do her eyes and outline the flowers. Uh, just because I really like to make white pop um, on the tone tan paper. And for some reason, it printed it a little bit far to the left, but I'm, I'm not picky. I got a new printer, so this is obviously my problem. <laughs> I, I probably had it printing off center somehow, but I don't care. It's, she's just looking so beautiful. I love the way her hair turned out and I love the way these flowers are turning out. In fact, let's go ahead and finish these flowers up here in which I'm using my Holbein, uh, yellow ochre OP 153 for the middles here for the little, whatever you want to call them that are coming out of the flower. I'll think of the word way after the video is done. <laughs> you know, naturally, because that's what I do. And then I'm also using um, my Dandelion Holbein OP145.
And while I expected this to be a little bit brighter yellow than what it's coming out on out as on the, on the tone tan, I'm still very, very happy with the results. I mean, very, very happy. I also tried something different with the shading on her face this time. I don't know if you could tell it on camera. Um, because even in person, it kind of looks a little gray. Gray-ish to me. But I actually used, since I was using um, pinkish and yellowish tones for her face. You know, kind of mixing them together. I decided to use, where's she at? But this one, nope, that's ice cream. Ice cream! Maybe it's this one. Was it Horizon Blue? I don't think it was Horizon Blue. I think it was actually this one. No. Maybe this one? It's one of these blues. <laughs> there it is, Porcelain Blue. I knew if I saw the name, I'd know it was the right one. I've been using my uh, Brute Fooner uh, B1321 Porcelain Blue. Uh, to do the shading first, and then I went over with the salmon, and I believe I also used the brute fooner for that one too. Salmon pink, yep. Brute fooner um, B one zero two eight, and they they do mix wonderfully with the Holbein's, um, because if it was had an asterisk by the name of the Holbein color. Um, I knew that I also had it in this the Brute Fooner set, and I felt like seeing if they could all combine very well, and they actually really do. And then um, I used the Holbein um, Soft White that says use a knife to sharpen, OP501, and you can see my great sharpening skills there. They're terrible, yes, I know. But this white is awesome. I mean, it is amazingly soft. Um, and of course... I don't have a knife knife to sharpen it. I just use my X-Acto knife to sharpen it. In which you can... Oh, it left it in there. But here you go. You can see that the pencil is so soft, it leaves little chunks of itself on my knife. And so, it is just... It is that soft. I have never... I don't even think a Prismacolor has ever been that soft. I know a Prismacolor has never been that soft. Um, but anyway, I figured we would take that opportunity to go ahead and try the Super Soft White. And I enjoyed every minute of it. It was an amazing pencil to use. I really, really love it. It is just so soft. And look how bright it is. Like this is the other white. The um, Here it is. The Holbein um, OP500 white. And it's pretty bright too. And actually I can still put layers down on here. I mean I've put like several layers of this stuff on here. And it'll just take some more. In her hair. No problemo. And... That actually, I don't know if you could tell on camera, but that is actually brighter than this. And I just, and so much softer. I couldn't believe how soft that sucker was. Um, but let's go ahead and get started on this little piece here. And I've decided to do all this in green. Um, because I'm going to use my green uh, Distress Ink in the back and hope it shows up. I've never used Distressed Ink on Tone Tan. Because I've only had Distressed Ink for like a week. And I got those four colors. Five. Sorry. The one is a Distress Oxide. Ah, oh, man, I broke that one. Apparently, I hated that pencil. Apparently, that pencil could go shove off. Know what I mean? <laughs> also, too, on tomorrow's video, I will be using my uh, Jarn Link for the first time. Because um, Pamela recommended it. And I had some... Um, cash back from my Amazon store card and I had enough to finally get the jar link plus tax woo uh, but this first one here will be forest green OP 267 in the whole binds I don't believe I have any of my pastels for this 
because I didn't want it to be bright because I kind of wanted it to help bring her forward and I'm hoping that by doing it in a dark color it'll help bring her forward or in dark colors I should say and I love outlining I should have done this outlined in a green gel pen I might come back and go over it with a green gel pen I don't know we'll see how it turns out Because I really liked outlining the flowers and the white gel pen. And her eyes are just gorgeous. I love the purples I chose. It just came out so good. There we go. And I like doing little sections at a time. And then the next one I'm going to pull out here will be the Holly Green OP264. I do have one brighter color. Kind of bright color. I'm Bright greenish color I'm using. Oh. I didn't outline that. And yes, I put my whole binds in my mouth. But I don't bite down. <laughs> if I did, I would probably have to smack myself. There we go. And these pencils are just so lovely on this tone tan paper. They really work great, which, you know, I had watched a bunch of videos on the whole binds before I bought them. And there's a bunch of them that say they don't like the whole binds and a bunch of them that say they love their whole binds so it's nice that I am enjoying these guys and it's been hard to put them down I will put them down for my miniatures books uh, but only because I really enjoy using the Prismacolors man I broke everybody's point today I had those out since last night I don't know how the points got broken Anyway, these guys are soft, too. Sometimes if I accidentally use a heavy hand, I break off the point. And I hadn't used these yet. As you can see, I had not used green yet. So I don't know how I broke off that point. Right back on my mouth it goes. Because I want to do this part here. There we go. All right, let's see the last one. Oh, this one is Evergreen OP254, by the way. <laughs> and then the last one is Apple Green um, OP251. And I think I want to sharpen it up just a little bit. There we go. I love watching these nature videos, too, that play soft music in the background. Right now, I'm looking at some gorgeous butterflies and beautiful lilacs. And I'm usually not a fan of white lilacs, but these guys are gorgeous in this video. There we go. I don't want to put too much light color in there because I really don't want to take away from the, the beautiful pastel colors in the back. There. And then, of course, my brush to brush away the crumbs that if there could be a complaint I had about whole binds that would be the only complaint I have and that's that they are super crummy they are crummy like a prisma and I'm really not complaining because it doesn't bother me I just got to remember to constantly remember to wipe it off because my big old hands will get in the way. There we go. Let's do one more stripe down here. But man, I really, really love how her hair turned out. Um, I put that combo together. I did not. I did not even test it. Usually, I test the combos before I use them. Gotta get this little guy here and see if I like the combinations. But on this one, I wanted to experiment and see what happens. And I really like the results. I hope you guys do too, because I love it. Just love it. And for such a small area here, though, I'm only gonna put a couple layers down and then kind of use my blending pencil to straighten up any tan paper that's showing through. I don't want to spend like a cruel amount of time on here. 
putting down layers like I did on her face and her hair and the flowers. And I know uh, everybody says that the Holbein's are layering pencil, and they're not wrong. The more layers you put down, the better it looks. Good, there's no color on here. Um, but for the purpose of this tiny stuff, looks good enough <laughs> to me. Oh, you should have seen this thing last night, too. This little Prismacolor blending pencil was so funny when I was doing it on the super soft white. It would pick up the white, not to the point where it would just come right up, up off of the page, but any excess would be balled up on the tip of my Prismacolor uh, colorless blender, and it was funny. I was having a ball anyway. I thought it was funny. <laughs> Here we go. Kind of get these... And I don't know if it's because they have carpal tunnel and just can't tell how how hard I'm pushing sometimes. But these seem to smush together just fine on this paper. I haven't really tried smushing them down on anything else. Let me go get this guy a point again. A good point. There we go. So I can once again do a nice little outline. And guys, I cannot express how happy I am to see those coloring books. They're going to be so much fun. Haley, you really picked out some good stuff. Oh, you're a treasure. A super duper treasure. And that's, and if you're new to the coloring world, that's just how everybody is, is we treasure each other and it's like we're all instantly friends and we, we do understand each other's love of coloring and art, you know, art and drawing and painting and some of us have these weird obsessions over pencils we got full set syndrome, which I believe that would be me, guys. That's me. I am full set syndrome. <laughs> and, I mean, there's so many great YouTube channels. It would take hours to share everybody. And the things that people do for each other. It is so amazing. I'm going to go ahead and put a little light amount of the evergreen in there. Kind of bring it down a little bit. And then bring it up. Mix that evergreen good. And then come back here with my apple. Apple! My bird says apple. Okay, she doesn't say apple. She says a word that sounds a lot like apple, but it's A-S-S. <laughs> like I said, guys, this is an adult channel, not for kids. <laughs> okay, let's sharpen these guys up a little bit. I have got to start taking pictures of the finished artworks and sharing them after I've done pieces of them on... YouTube. I know I don't. I know I'm a lazy bum when it comes to that. Sorry, guys. I just get so excited. A lot of the pictures that I do have ended up on my wall of colorings. Because they're just a little bit too big for picture frames. Some of them, like this one, I could cut down to size. Um, but most of them I really can't. And so I just put some sticky on them and stick them to the wall. We'll see how they do. And most of them I can do again um, because they were copied out of a book onto my own papers. One of them, I, th I think they'll do good because one picture that I have up there is one I didn't even do 
um, back when we had an office at work, um, this beautiful young lady was kind enough to color two birds and leave a little, little cutesy friendship note on there. And I have had it hanging up since we were in the office uh, back in early 2020. And then it was posted on the wall in my apartment in two different spots, actually, because I moved the office a couple of times. And then um, it's posted on the wall here from the house since we moved in. And I, I moved the workspace here in, I think, November. Yeah, November, late October, early November. And... <clears throat> It is still clean and beautiful and as bright as it can be. Uh, I think it was done with Crayola pencils. I'd have to ask her. <laughs> We're still friends even though she no longer works for the company. That's a, a story of how they they done her dirty. And would take hours to explain. <laughs> but there we have it. And I think the green will kind of just like bring her forward. I really do think so. And I think I'll work a little bit more on her hair down here. I'm not quite happy with how this has turned out, but I want to get this filled out first. And I believe these are going to be all leaves. I was thinking about turning that into the another flower, um, but there's really no middle, no stamen or whatever you want to call them in the middle. So they're all just going to be leaves. <laughs> And I think it's going to be really, really pretty, especially once I get the distressed ink in there around there, hoping it works. And I just learned the other day, I forget what video I was watching, but they said you're supposed to save your distressed inks or store your dress, distressed inks upside down. So, hey, maybe that blue will work better now, <laughs> now that I'm, I'm doing it, storing it upside down. Oh, come on off of there. There we go. Sometimes that soft white is really, really hard to get off of there. There he is. <laughs> but I think she's... The hair. I just... I love the hair. The hair came out so good. Let me know what you like about the picture. Let me know if there's anything about the picture you don't like. Um, I, I enjoy uh, constructive criticisms. Um, you know, suggestions. Like what I could have done better, what I could have done different, anything like that. Let me know uh, in the comments below. Anyway, hey, for once we're going to have kind of a short video. It's not an hour long. <laughs> but hey, thank you so much for stopping by and watching my video. And an extra shout out again to Miss Haley for those wonderful, beautiful coloring books. I'm so excited. I can't wait to get started on them. It almost makes me want to put her up and start but she's so close to being done I'm gonna go ahead and finish her and then I'm gonna start on those coloring books and have me a good time um, I'm just not sure what medium I'm gonna use yet but I'm excited so thank you I think it'll be colored pencils but it could be markers we don't know yet anyway everybody have a wonderful rest of your day have a great colorific week and take care of yourselves and uh, say something nice to, to somebody today. Make their day. It's free. It's fun. And it makes you feel good too. Thank you. Bye-bye.